This industry is literally what fuels our economy. Today we're going to be meeting one of the people who keeps that pipeline flowing, a gas drilling supervisor. Hi, I'm Brian. Chris, nice to meet you. We're drilling for natural gas. We drill the well, case it and secure it. Another team will come in, get the gas coming to surface. Another team comes in, ties the well into a pipeline, and these pipelines transport gas to facilities where it's compressed and sent down a main pipeline to market. So these are the drill bits here. This is a, this is a roller cone bit. Oh, I gotta see that. What's that way? Tri cone. It's about 60 pounds or oh, so. Oh, yeah, that is. I'm on location 24 hours a day, currently 14 days on and 14 days off. But most of the organizing is done in business hours. Mainly a typical day is eight to 10 hours of an organization. Reporting to the office and organizing tools, people, and services to come out to location. You have phone calls, reports to be sent in, and reports that you're getting from your supervisors. So how does this work? This gets screwed in. That gets screwed on on the end of our drill string uh -huh. and gets ro rotated down hole. Yep. These, uh, these cones have bearings in them and they roll around and just break up the, the formation. Started off in an entry level position and worked my way through getting promoted. And an opportunity came to become a well site supervisor. I, I took it. Some of the technical skills that are required is being strong in math, a lot of like measurement, calculations for, for downhole pressures, and different volumes. You'd need safety management courses, well control tickets, and regulatory awareness courses. Once we finish our well, this wellhead, this is what it looks like when we leave. A lot of our operation is pre-planned from drilling engineers. So I have to read the plan and execute it appropriately. You have to understand what they expect from you. Well, Brian, we're up in the doghouse. Doghouse. The doghouse. This all is right. where all the magic happens. Pretty much the entire drilling rig gets controlled from this, this room. Essentially, we start off vertically, and drill 2,000 meters, change the well path and drill another 2,000 meters out horizontally. And how's the steel actually, like you've got like something going straight down, how does it curve? The, the pipe that can bend. We have to be very good at keeping organized. We have services that come hundreds of miles to do a job for three hours. So Pre-planning is a big step of this job. How deep are we right now? Can you tell uh, by looking at this? We're at 2,006 meters right now. 2,206 meters. Yeah. When you're following a plan, you have to have attention to detail because that is the detail. There's procedures for every job we do, and there's a reason why we have these procedures, always learning from mistakes that have been made. You really got to be keenly aware of your surroundings, right? That's, that's correct. There's a lot of hazards on a well site. Sure, you know? sure. And that's why we do our safety meetings. And Yep. And that's what Identifies. you're responsible for, right? That's, that's correct. You have to be good at giving direction and being a leader and just identifying like any potential hazards. You have to keep your eyes open at all the time. And not only giving direction, but listening to people tell you what they see too. These are some uh, engines. They run the electricity for the rig. Oh, okay, Everything is run off of uh, AC power. A job like this can take you to a higher position within the company. More of a superintendent that look, looks after several well sites from an office in Calgary or any oil field company office in the world. That's our boiler. It make, produces steam. We use our steam for thawing, de-icing equipment. Okay. When it's minus 40 and it's snowing. Minus 40? Yes. Yeah, you still work when it's minus 40, yes? Eh? Yes, we do. Operation <laughs> never stops. Most rewarding part of my job is to work through a plan and complete it. it gives me satisfaction. We'll never pass up an opportunity that can move your career ahead. You may not be comfortable with it at first, but give it time, give it a chance, and you know, put in good effort. If you want to do something, you enjoy doing it, you're gonna succeed. Well, Chris, thanks very much for showing us around. We learned a lot. Thanks, thanks for coming out, Brian. You take care of yourself. You too. Once again, I'm Brian for Career Trek, reminding you that this career could be yours. See you next time.